<laughs> Welcome back to the Angry Man Podcast with Jason and Greg. So, Jay, we've talked about this in the past that Errol Spence has basically gone dark. And we saw a photo of Errol. This was probably about maybe a month or so ago where Errol was with some pit bull puppies, some cane corso, whatever the dog is, whatever. Somebody was in the comment section correcting me on which type of dog it was, like like that was pertinent to the damn yeah, video. the dog. Exactly. But anyway. Um, and so I felt that since we did a video on that and most people did a video on that, it would only be right to do a video where there's been another photo of Errol Spence that surfaced. Um, now, I don't know uh, when this photo was taken. I found it on uh, a Twitter account called Boxing Kingdom. Um, I don't know if that was him in the picture with him or what. I have no idea. But uh, Errol looked fairly lean in that picture. Like if I had to guess, I would say Errol's maybe like in the low 160s in that photo. Um, so we saw another photo and we did a video on this of Errol going to a place called, what was it? Hot works or something like that. Uh, where, yeah. where he was hot doing hot yoga. Yeah. Right. And you kind of explain what a lot of people go to hot works for. So that was interesting. So clearly if this photo is updated, which I have no reason to believe that it's not, but I believe, um, uh, that Errol is back in the gym, the gym, Jay, I, I truly do believe that we saw him at hot works from that photo from behind he looked like he was relatively lean and if this photo is indeed a recent photo hey errol's in condition and that is important yeah that is very important that's one of the things that i thought you don't want to get up too high in weight if you're errol spence especially considering you know this fight is probably gonna i don't know happen somewhere in the next three months or so four months or so you want to spend your camp focus on honing and crafting and becoming more skilled or not necessarily more skilled but cleaning up some of the issues and errors that you made in your fight against terence crawford now we saw bomack recently on pro box and based on what bomack is saying not there's not a whole lot spence can do right because bomack talked about spence and said that he was fighting the exact same way he was in the amateurs there's nothing different about him and they just focused on taking away the jab because Arrow likes to throw that first jab that positions him to throw another jab and get on the inside so he can start digging to the body. And Terrence Crawford gave him that that slick softball jab, and it was a it was an issue for him. Now, um, Tay Jones, who uh, who we interviewed, I, I mentioned this. We'll probably drop this clip at some point, but he talked a little bit about what he saw and dissected, and it was basically an old school style that. Uh, Terrence Crawford and his trainer employed and it may have come from his uh, his coach here in Atlanta coach Mustafa uh, that real old school style in terms of um, you know taking away the jab parrying the jab things of that nature so we'll see what ends up happening I'm excited to see anything from Errol because you know like I said he's gone dark the last time we heard anything from Errol it was August 11th today it's December 11th so that's over four months so, Jay, what's your thoughts on the video that or not the video, but the picture that just recently surfaced of Errol Spence looking lean man, looking fairly lean and ripped? No, I mean, I like the fact that, you know, get to see something. I just wish it was, you know, a timestamp, exactly the date, the time frame. So we know when a better close to time. But I think it's definitely after the fight with uh, with Bud. And it seems like it might be relatively closer to the time right now, whether it's today or this week or not. But just seeing him looking like this. Is, is encouraging just because we know how he's changed. Sometimes during the offseason, he'll gain some weight and whatnot. And this is what I want to see. You know, I want to see, I'd rather see him, you know, at least a few clips of him training and whatnot. But, you know, if he's training for certain things, then we don't need to see that. But I just want to see him in shape. And he does look lean. He doesn't like he's too heavy in that fight, in, in, this, in that picture at all. Um, quite honestly, you know, he might be around – 160 is no heavier than 170, 70, I would imagine, being that he's, you know, more a little bit taller for that weight, 5'9 or so. So it's encouraging. You know, now I just I just want I just want to see I just want to just hear from my dog. I just want to hear him talk, man. Hear him talk or see him post something. Let him know where his mind at, where his head is at. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because that's most important. You know, it's all about the mental um, mentality of the, of the fighter. You know, after going through a fight, a rough fight like he went through with Bud, we don't, I want to see where he has, he's at mentally. You know, I want to see he has that that that, that true grit. He's always we talked about. I think he does have it. You know, I'm just ready to see him talk again for this on social a little bit more. You know, not doing anything outside of him, but being 
going back to being him at least a little bit where he's talking about other shows or what whatever other fights that he watches you know i just want to see him back in or engaging again they welcome him back for um, a potential rematch uh, with bud you know whether it's in february march april whenever it may be but this is encouraging no, it is encouraging, and uh, that's all we wanted from Arrow, to just, you know, make sure that, because uh, I don't care if Arrow goes dark, per se, you know, I don't want him to go dark, and then, you know, he's dark, but he's not training, right, because to me, then, it, I don't right. I don't want I don't want it to be perceived as he's just ducking, you know, any kind of smoke or criticism or things of that nature that might occur uh, on Twitter or any other social media outlet, um, but, you know, I would prefer to hear from him, because, again, you know, that's our guy, and um, we want to see him do well. But if he's gonna go dark, uh, go dark with a purpose. Go dark because you know you're you're training, you're you're trying to hone up your skills, you're really taking it seriously, and you're trying to get to the point where you need to be in order to be Terrence Crawford. Um, but yeah, a lot of people can mis misinterpret that man if you just simply go dark and you know then you show up uh, with some pit bull puppies and you you got a little pudge around your stomach. People are gonna talk. You know what I mean? People are going to say crazy yeah. things. So don't give them things crazy to say. And, you know, just keep grinding, man. That's what I want to see from Errol. And, you know, it doesn't matter. For me, perp you know, my thing is this. You know, boxing, you win some, you lose some. It's always been that case. And there's always going to be somebody in some weight class that can beat you. Uh, that's just the way that the sport goes. So I have no problem with Errol losing the fight. But I want Errol to come into the ring Um as prepared as he possibly can be in order to face Terrence Crawford, because at this point it looks like a mountain to climb for him to beat Terrence Crawford. Uh, and yeah. you know, still support him, but man, we gotta be, you gotta be realistic, Jay. Like, and I tell people all the time, I'm say it again. When new data is introduced, I'm not gonna be the type of person where I'm gonna be stubborn. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look at that new data. New data would suggest that this is gonna be a uphill battle for Errol Spence to win. Now regardless of what you feel if you're a fan or not uh it is what it is so jay uh anything else you got on that because sound like you, you had something on it yeah i mean he was he, he was the underdog in the first fight well, that's, true. <laughs> that's true he was the underdog in the first fight so i mean he lost the he lost this last fight so why would he be you know a favorite all of a sudden it doesn't make sense you know you know whether you're a spence fan or not you know if i'm i'm a i'm a spence fan yes can he win he can. It's going to be uphill battle for it, like you said. You know, after the last performance, him being him going dark. Hopefully, he just went dark to find himself, really get the just the chill. And sometimes, you know, after going through what he's been through over the last three, four years, sometimes you just need a recalibrating, just back away from everything, which is fine. And like you said, it can be misconstrued for a multitude of things that people can say about him. You know, I'm just gonna wait for the dude to come back and say a little something. And then go from there. But seeing this picture, like I said earlier, it's encouraging. And I wish him and but nothing but the best of health for the training for the upcoming rematch. Hopefully it'll be, you know, within the next three, four months. Bud is in camp as well, and Bud looks good as well. So we'll see what yeah, ends up happening. You guys tell us what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to hate, like, comment, and subscribe. This is the Angry Man Podcast on Sports Media, and we are out.